Welcome to Reviewed in 60 Seconds, and today we'll be looking at Shazam. 3, 2, 1. Directed by David F. Sandberg and starring Zachary Levi, Shazam is the latest movie in the DCEU and based on the popular comics of the same name. Well, they used to be called Captain Marvel, but let's not go there. Essentially, the plot involves a dying wizard giving a young boy the power to become a superhero, so he can protect the world from the seven deadly sins. I'm not gonna lie, just like any DC movie, I went in expecting this to be a steaming pile of CGI dog poop. But to be honest, I really enjoyed it. Zachary Levi's performance is great, accurately capturing the sense of wonder a young kid would have if he was suddenly transformed into a hench, bulletproof 38 year old. Watching him lose his mind with excitement as he gradually figures out his powers is super charming and makes Billy Batson's character way more relatable than any other big screen DC hero. In fact, I'd say the dynamic between Shazam and his teenage best friend Freddy is one of the best things about the whole movie and where most of the comedy comes from. Yeah, the script writing can feel a bit Big Bang Theory at times and some of the jokes don't really land, but overall Shazam is a super fun, honestly heartwarming hero flick that makes me think that DC might just be able to turn things around around. No pressure, Joker. Well, I gave Wonder Woman a 7, so Shazam at least gets that out of 10. It's definitely not perfect, but it's head and shoulders above pretty much every DC film so far, and it's hopefully a sign of good things to come. Oh, and shout out to the flipping nerds sat next to me who shouted, um, I think you mean Captain Marvel, when the title card came up, and decided to give a round of applause to every single joke. There's a special place in nerd hell waiting for both of you, one where every comic in your collection has a tiny little crease in the top right hand corner that never comes out no matter what you do. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>